Cash AP got the beat tight. How you doing? Yo! Yeah. In the next season! Yo! Yeah. What's up you guys welcome back to my channel remember if you guys are brand new please consider subscribing and also clicking the bell for notifications every single time i upload and also do not forget to smash the like button on this video just like you smash the bumps on your forehead so now at this point i'm going to be showing you guys the process of the best black man skincare routine and definitely for somebody like me with oily skin right now you can't tell well it's kind of dry but usually i get really really oily skin it's not a booger it's a gray hair I got growing in my nose now. Mind your business. And it's like annoying. So currently I use this Neutrogena product, this uh, Healthy Skin Boosters Facial Cleaner White Tea and Vitamin E. I got this from a TJ Maxx probably like six months ago, to really be honest. I'm super surprised that it's still something left because I've had it for the last five, six months, but I only use one pump every single time I use it. But the other day my mom was at Walmart and she called me and asked if I need something for my face. And she brought me some more Neutrogena stuff, but this is actually a different kind i've never used this one before and it's obviously really good for oily skin so i'm going to use it for the first time so i'm about to literally put some of this stuff on my face for the first time just wet my face obviously and i usually like to wet my face with cold water and you guys remember if you're not washing your face in the shower and you are washing your face at the sink do not leave the water running because i would hate for you to have to get killed if you're watching this video and then you go wash your face or something because of me please just turn the water off. So I put it on my hands like so and apply it on my face. Who else just gets the face wash and then just do it like this and then do this all over your face? I do. I don't do all of this. Like I just, my hands are entirely too big. Like I got athletic hands. So I use all of these hands to an advantage. I try not to get none of my lips. I do not need that because that's like nasty. But I want to say this to you guys, and this is for everybody. I feel like the number one reason why people get bumps on their face these days is because they're simply in other people's business. You know what I'm saying? I feel like when you drink water and mind your business, you're able to keep clear skin. And please do not at me. Don't, don't comment in the comment section with something crazy. Y'all know that I'm not lying. If you just simply drink your water and mind your business and just, you know, stay out of everybody's business, then you be all right. Then you're gonna have clear skin, you know, and fellas, women like a man with clear skin. You know, that's just facts. And guys, this is from me to you, from one black man to another. If you take really good care of your skin, women like that. And listen to me when I say this, if any other guy think it's soft to wash your face and keep it washed and pay attention to whether you get bumps on your face or not, and they think that it's soft, and they trying to make you feel like you're less than a man, at the end of the day, the joke is on them. Dang, I got some stuff in my eye, but don't no woman, well no man, well no super duper bumpy skin and i think these days just like i was just saying like i feel like you know that just means that he simply ain't minding his business he running around in everybody's business worried about this and that and he just getting bumped I just rinsed my face, but like I was saying, what I call those bumps, I call them worry bumps. You know what that is? You worried about everybody else but yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's time to be selfish. It's time to worry about you and your skin and your bumpy head. You know what I'm saying? Your bumpy forehead. We ain't supposed to be walking around with no bumpy foreheads. I don't know how many times I can say that. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all ain't walking around with no bumpy forehead. So far, I like this deep clean facial cleanser by Neutrogena. Shout out to my mom for going to pick that up for me at Walmart. So if you guys want this specific if it kind, go to your local Walmart. I know Walmart ratchet, but just go up in there and get what you're going to go get and get up out of there. Simple as that. So now that I'm done washing my face, I use this moisturizer right here. It's, it's by uh, Clean and Clear. I used to actually use their face washers and stuff too, but I just stopped. So with this moisturizer, I use no more than three pumps. Lather it up in your hands and apply it to your face like some lotion. I stopped using lotion on my face. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you, probably about like, mm -hmm, like three, four months ago. I grew up just applying lotion and stuff to my face and like regular like body lotion and stuff. As I got older, I never really understood like that there was actually 
moisturizer for your face. And if you guys do not use moisturizer after you wash your face, I suggest, I highly suggest you start using moisturizer on your face because it's literally a game changer. The only thing, it's not like lotion when you put lotion on your face. This uh, moisturizer gives you like a really, really cool feeling. So like right now my face feels like really cool. It feels really good actually. But that's not all. I got something else to show y'all. I got this tea tree oil right here. It's an antioxidant serum and it's really, really good for your face after you get done washing your face and stuff like that. Obviously I just did that so it is currently time for me to use it. Y'all probably want to see what it looks like in my freaking camera and even focused. Just in case if you want to go to your local TJ Maxx and go and pick this up. So this is what it looks like. So if you want this kind, just go to TJ Maxx and you'll find it. But for all you out there that never use tea tree oil on your face after washing your face, I suggest you do that as well. But normally I like to put tea tree oil on for like an overnight thing. So like before I go to sleep, after I wash my face and stuff like that, after a shower or something, I like to apply tea tree oil then. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you do it. You just put it on your face. I just uh, put it on this, you know, certain parts of my face first and kind of just wipe it in because if not like if you just apply it and then you know just let it sit obviously like you see it's kind of like running like it's literally just gonna run down your face and then it will drip so you gotta you know you gotta apply it and then like you know kind of go as you go but it depends on how much you put though but i feel like i'll be putting too much like i feel like i put too much already but it's my face so i'm gonna put some on my uh under eyes, I'm saying, and I got a photo shoot coming up too. You guys let me know in the comment section if I should let this grow back in. Like right now, it's a little, it's kind of trying to grow its way back. I just got a haircut three days ago and my hair is already growing back. But I'm considering letting this grow out and having new headshots taken, but I don't know, I gotta see. But you guys definitely let me know if that's something that you think I should do. You guys, it's a really, really simple process with me washing my face. A lot of times I'll just wash my face in the shower and so, you know, it goes a lot quicker. And usually while I'm in the shower, that's like the first thing that I'll do is just get my face washed and then I'll apply it to my face and then I'll just let it sit there entire time when I'm in the shower and usually that's like 10 to 15 minutes and then like I'll go and rinse my face. I don't know why but I just feel like it works a lot better that way when it just sits on your face like it's able to sit deep into your skin and into your pores and stuff and accumulate like all the dirt and grime and stuff out of your skin. But if you guys enjoyed this video please smash the like button like you smash the pimples on your face and if you guys are brand new to my channel please consider smashing that subscribe button and then after you smash the subscribe button make sure you guys click the bell to get notifications every single time I upload. And fellas, I want you guys to remember, drink your water, mind your business, stay out of other people's business. You'll have clear skin. You know what I'm saying? You'll love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Bless.